kind of dream job many kids just dream of. Becoming an astronaut, however, is exceptionally difficult. But by this time next year, Canada will have two new astronauts. Bill McFarland reports. His engine was first lit by a trip to Kennedy Space Center when he was five. Then it got a boost from meeting one of Canada's first astronauts. When I was seven, my, my father took me to meet Roberta Bondar, the so first female Canadian astronaut. An engineering degree, then a master's in space management. To hear Morelli now runs a space consulting company. I wholeheartedly a space geek, I'll fully admit that. He's also one of nearly 3,400 applicants, including 243 from Calgary, who are vying for just two astronaut positions with the Canadian Space Agency. Only a select few fly to space. It's an unbelievably competitive field. This is just the fourth time Canada has recruited astronauts. 1983, 1992, and 2008. So far, only 12 people have won the job out of more than 14,000. They want to get a rocket under their butts. Calgarian Dr. Doug Hammy Hamilton was among the final candidates in 1992. At least the, the, final, the final groups had just write their names on a piece of paper and throw them down the stairs and pick up the first couple. They would complete the mission. Over his career, Hammy supported 50 shuttle and 25 space station missions. He understands the dedication and personal sacrifice of everyone in the space program. He was one of the flight surgeons for the doomed 2003 Columbia mission, working with them through two and a half years of training. Of all the crews, I guess, you could lose, you, you just knew, you knew their kids, you knew their family, you knew everything. And then that horrible day, that terrible day, being selected doesn't guarantee a trip to space. Just eight Canadian astronauts have slipped the surly bonds of Earth, with a ninth scheduled to take flight next year. It's a long shot, but Tahir has an idea what lies ahead. So I worked there actually as an astronaut trainer. I was developing lessons and curriculum for astronauts to train on the Columbus uh, laboratory aboard the space station. His students included Canada's two current astronauts, David Saint-Jacques and Jeremy Hansen. By this time next year, his name could join this very short list. Bill McFarland, CTV News, Calgary. The deadline for applications is August 15th, but final selection won't be complete until next summer.